Welcome back to another video guys. I'm your humble host Picasso. Thanks for joining in. Today we're going to be looking at a very neat app, a very cool way to multitask on your device. And of course I will be using my Nexus 6 for this demonstration. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get right into it. So guys, today looking at a very uh, awesome application. It gives you some very cool ways to multitask with just a simple swipe or you could have another uh, method to uh, uh, start the application. So first of all, as you see, it's my Nexus 6 um, regular. We're here and I'm using Nova Launcher, custom theme I'm working on and stuff like that. Um, no navigational buttons, no status bar. That's how I like it. You get the full real estate, no buttons, no nothing like that. I love that. That's how I like it. So I can go ahead and swipe in from the right and that's gonna go ahead and take a screenshot. If I'm in an application or say the app drawer or something like that, um, basically I can just simply swipe from the left to go back to the home screen, whatever the case may be, stuff like that. So how do I get from other apps to other apps? Now all I have to do is swipe in from the bottom left corner, simple as that, and it goes ahead and brings up this. Now this is Omni Swipe. Hey or I can swipe in from the bottom right and that's going to, there we go, and that's gonna go ahead and bring up this application. Okay, now this is OmniSwipe. For those of you that don't know, OmniSwipe is a very, very cool multitasking app. Now here, um, I think we are on the Recents panel. Right here at the bottom, you see there is little toggles, so you can go ahead and scroll through. This is going to be basically the apps I've used uh, the most, and you can actually put in applications that you want. Here's a little blind spot right there. Not blind spot, but a blank a circle you can tap the circle and then you can scroll through and add different applications that you want to show up there so that's pretty cool swiping again over to the next part we do have a part here where this is more like a, a tools page basically as you see here we have the omni settings we have vibrate the flashlight brightness search the device Wi-Fi etc I just got a notification and another cool thing with this with omni swipe what I've enabled is that with notifications, they do kind of show up. I think I might have to come out and go back in. So let's see if that works. There we go. And as you can see there on the inbox uh, app, you can see right there that um, I do have a notification there and it lets you know there's two notifications. So that's two unread emails that are right there. So pretty cool. So jumping into Omni settings, very straightforward. It's not a whole lot you can do in here, but it is pretty cool. So basically you have the, of course, the enable Omni swipe. You have the setup. Junior, be quiet. You have the uh, setup, of course, so when you go to setup, it's tap assist. Um, that has something to do, I don't recall right now. I've been using OmniSwipe for a couple of days. It's pretty cool, um, but yeah, in the, in the initial setup, it explains what that is. Um, then we have themes. Okay, and you guys know me. I might not, you know, have the best uh, uh, full knowledge of an application. I like to come in here and show things and kind of learn things with you guys. Okay, I know previously, you know, uh, uh, somebody actually messaged me and, let, and told me that I should have an extent knowledge of the application before jumping into it. And some applications I do, and you guys know from some of my previous reviews, but then again, sometimes I like to jump in there raw with you guys and learn about the application with you guys as well. All right, so uh, yeah, keep that in mind. So here we have themes basically. So there's a good amount of different themes that you can put on. Uh, this is one of my favorites. And of course the bubble theme which I'm using is also one of my favorites. Um, I think the bubble theme goes with the kind of overall look and theme of what uh, uh, the home screen uh, layout that I have going on. So quite a few amount of themes. Of course, there's not a whole bunch, like it's not a full, packed with like you know a whole bunch of things but I think there's at least maybe seven or six or seven or eight of them something like that but it's pretty cool it's good enough it basically matches any color scheme you could come up with yeah got uh, covering all of the basic color schemes and we have notifications uh, of course you can see SMS uh, WhatsApp and then other third-party apps where you select the apps that you want to be notified for then there is a booster, of course. I turned off the booster. It's pretty cool. There's nothing wrong with it, but I use Clean Master. That's why I'm not going to use that one. And then into the advanced settings, you have available unlock screen. You have the trigger method. Now, the trigger method is another thing that you can look at because there's two different trigger methods. You have 
uh, you have swipe from bottom corner or edge or you have the little white dot. I'm going to select the little white dot and show you guys what it is and there it is. It's literally just a little white dot. It's not very little but as you see it does kind of fade out a little bit not to be so intrusive but if you tap on it same thing's going to happen. It's going to go ahead and bring up uh, the the uh, bring up Omni Swipe, okay? But I do prefer using uh, the uh, swipe from the bottom corner or edge. I do prefer that big time. Okay, then there is enable Omni Swipe for, and basically you can enable it for the desktop only, desktop and non full screen apps, or desktop and all apps. I have it on all apps. Um, yeah, and then interact or recent where you can choose if you want it to be uh, just, you know, applications that you want pasted there or uh, uh, recent uh, displayed recent use apps. So, of course, I got it on display recent apps and then you can choose the default tab to be either recent favorites toolbox or the last used course I have the default on the recents therefore if I'm in something I can just simply just go like that boom swipe and I'm in there very very neat okay the gestures that I have it's called all-in-one gestures you can set it all over the device you can have it for hover if you use a stylus or something like that and uh, yeah it's just like that <laughs> Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of Omni Swipe. Nothing too fancy, but you know, um, especially the way how I have my device set up, it is very cool. It's a nice way to get around because I basically have everything on swipes. So that's pretty cool. It works out for me and I really do like it. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'm your humble host, Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.